exclusive uh, series of uh, videos which talks about basic concepts of various topics. Uh, we have named this as Concept Bank. Uh, today we will talk, take up mathematics as our uh, main focus and with a chapter named Integration. So in this video we will be talking about the basics of uh, integration and uh, this is primarily to understand the basic concepts involved in each and every topic so that the students get acclimatized with it and then they can solve the questions. Uh, the problems and the shortcut methods are discussed in the shortcut method section of mathematics. So you can go to that in the next section. So let us get into the concept of, concepts of integration. Integration mainly is represented by integral. So it is like an inverted L sign f of x dx where f of x is the function. So a function can be anything. It can be a trigonometric, algebraic, exponential, inverse, hyperbolic and so on. So any function we were bothered about finding the integral. So when this have usually has a lower limit and upper limit. If limits are not given to us, it is called indefinite integrals. If integrals are given to us, we write it in terms of a to b f of x dx. So this is represented by some f of x plus some constant. The constant will be there in every question when the limits are not present. When the limits are present, we first write it as f of x bounded by a lower limit a, upper limit b and you don't have any constant here. So first I substitute the upper limit f of b, then you substitute the lower limit f of b. So this is the basic concept of integrals and uh, integration is a very important chapter for uh, all uh, mathematics students who are right, appearing for competitive exams like JE, Mains, uh, MSET, uh, KSET, Manipal, BIDSAT, NDA and other competitive exams. Uh, and usually for MSET point of view, around two to three questions are asked. For JE Mains point of view, again one or two questions are asked from this topic. So let's dive into the important rules in integration. The first and foremost important rule is whenever we have integral of a derivative divided by the original function dx. This I can write it as log mod f of x plus c. So for example, if we have integral of tan x dx, we know that tan x can be written as sin x by cos x. So if this is my function, what is the derivative of cos x? The derivative of cos x is minus sin x. So I'll give a negative sign outside the bracket, I'll give the negative sign inside the bracket. So this whole term will be f dash of x. So I can directly write this as minus log mod cos x plus c or the negative goes inside because we know n log a is log a power n. So this will be log of secant x plus c. So this is the first basic rule which we have. And the second rule we have is whenever we have an integral of some function whole power n into the derivative of that function dx. I can write this as f of x whole power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. So as usual, if we want to take up an example, we can write it as some, uh, let me say, x square plus 1 whole power 4 and I will say x dx. So again, this is some function I can say it is 1 power 4. What is the derivative of x square? Derivative of x square is 2x because derivative of x power n is n into x power n minus 1. For more of this, you can refer to the differentiation concept bank uh, concepts. 
So this again I can multiply and divide with 2. Now I have my f of x whole power 4 and I also have my f dash of x. So this I can write it as x squared plus 1 whole power 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 plus c. So this will be x squared plus 1 whole power 5 by 5 plus c. So in this way we have seen two important concepts wherein the function was given as some algebraic in this case and a trigonometric in this case and how we transform the integral easily by using these two rules. Now coming to the third and the most important rule is integration by parts. Integration by parts is given by integral u v. So just like we have uv rule for derivatives, we have something called uv rule for integrals. So this uv rule can be written as u integral v minus integral u dash integral v. So depending on the function, it can be in terms of x or y. So v basically assume everything in terms of x. The standard forms are written in terms of x. So we write it as dx. We write it as dx. So, to choose, now our next question should be what to choose, whether it should be u or v. So for choosing u or v, we have something called i lit, where i stands for inverse, l stands for logarithmic, a stands for algebraic, t stands for trigonometric, e stands for exponential. So suppose we have a logarithm function and an algebraic function. We have to choose logarithm first in the same order. So our u will be logarithm. If we have a trigonometric and an exponential function, u will be trigonometric, v will be exponential. So in this way, we can apply uv rule to find out the, to get the integral. So these are the three basic rules. In the next section, we will discuss about more questions to uh, which we can solve using these rules. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit on the bell icon if you like our video.